Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about the topic the system integration testing. Friend, today's topic is very interesting especially if you have interest in testing of technology like software testing. So let's uh, start friend. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you. So let's uh, start friend. Software uh, system integration testing SIT is a high level software testing process in which testers verify that all related systems maintains data integrity and can operate in coordination with other systems in the same environment. The testing process ensures that all subcomponents are integrated successfully to provide expected results. SIT validates data integrity between the different subcomponents that make up a specified system. The SIT process occurs after unit testing and before validation testing. Due to the fact that SIT concentrates on testing the dependencies between subcomponents, it is often subjected to regression testing scenarios. Regression testing facilitates the addition of new test cases. From an application perspective, SIT testing focuses on access to actual data passed through the components and initial connectivity. The main goal of SIT testing is to test the automation of aggregated components and the dependencies that exist between them. In a complex environment, this is a tedious task as there are a number of components and dependencies. SIT testing ensures that it follows the dependencies available in a sequence, thereby simplifying the task. After system integration, it's performed data flow testing takes place through three states, namely the data states within the integration database and application layer. Test cases for SIT testing are developed using test design techniques such as use case testing, state transition testing, load testing, usable te usability testing, volume testing, graph based testing and decision table testing. System integration testing is a sort of software testing that is performed in an integrated hardware and software environment to evaluate the overall system behavior. It is testing performed uh, on a whole integrated system to determine the system's compliance with the stated requirements. System integration testing SIT is used to validate the interactions of a software system's parts. It is responsible for validating the high and low level software requirements contained in the software requirements specification, data and software design document. It also validates the uh, cohabitation of a software system with others and checks the integration between software application components. Modules are separately evaluated before being integrated to form a system in this sort of testing. For example, software and hardware components are gradually merged and tested until the complex complete system is integrated. Because the primary goal of SIT is to examine the relationships between different system components, regression testing is an important component of SIT. SIT is a component of the STLC for collaborative projects, software testing lifecycle, in most situations, the software supplier does a pre-SIT round before the customer performs their own SIT test cases. The QA team does a round of SIT before each release in most businesses that work on IT projects using the Agile Sprint methodology. The problems discovered in the SIT are returned to the development team who work on the remedies. The Sprint uh, MVP minimum viable product is released only when it has passed through SIT. SIT is necessary to highlight the errors that arise when the integrated subsystems interact. The system contains numerous components that cannot be unit tested independently 
Even though the unit is independently tested, it is possible that it will fail when integrated into the system due to the numerous problems that occur when subsystems interact with one another. As a result, SIT is essential for exposing and correcting errors before deploying the system to users. SIT discovers problems at an early stage saving time and money on later repairs. It also allows you to obtain earlier input on the acceptance of your proposal as well. Then uh, friend, uh, SIT granularity. Friend, SIT granularity may be performed at three distinct granularity levels. Uh, intra system testing. This is a low level integration test that wants to connect the modules to produce a unified system. Inter system testing. This is a high level test that requires the interfacing of independently tested system. Pairwise testing. In this method, just two interconnected subsystem in the entire system are tested at the same time. This is done to ensure that the two subsystems operate effectively when merged, assuming that the other subsystems are already operating well. System integration testing SIT tests the interactions between different systems and may be done after system testing. It verifies the proper execution of software components and proper interfacing between components within the solution. The objective of SIT uh, testing is to validate that all software modules dependencies are functionally correct and that data integrity is maintained between separate modules for the entire solution. Testing for dependencies between different components is a primary function of SIT testing. This area is often most subject to regression testing. System integration testing is the process of comprehensive testing performed on the application software along with the complete system which is usually made of more than one smaller unit of software and hardware. The primary goal of executing this type of testing is to make sure of the functional characteristics of the software and hardware systems are in sync with one another. Usually in SIT, the individual modules are tested separately first and then tested again after combining it into a single solid system. System integration testing SIT is carried out after the subsystems have individually undergone unit testing and that testing has been passed. SIT then tests the system as a whole after it has been integrated. The result of SIT is then passed on to user acceptance testing UAT. Uh, friend thank you thanks a lot for watching the video i hope uh, you like this video if you like it please share it with the friends and colleagues and uh, thanks a lot for watching the video thank you friends